So I'm going to start off this presentation by giving a overview of what is present out there in terms of Google Cloud services, what do they provide for us kind of thing, uh, how can we use them and then uh, we will deep dive into one of the Google Cloud service to analyze big data that's basically called BigQuery. So um, if I were to just categorize the different aspects which we basically use with our big data uh, you know there could be at least four main categories one is um, you know you collect the data that is your big data um, you know it can be in the form of csv files or anything and basically you store it somewhere the second is you start processing the data right and you know the raw data that you have you you know make it in a format which is more consumable and once the data is processed then you can use some tools to analyze your data and then you know start to visualize some information and then you know the data becomes more of an information for you and then you can start building your scorecards or you know whatever you want in the form of applications and this basically this cycle goes on from one to another now the basic question is why to use Google Cloud services? Well, the first thing is that, you know, all of their services runs on the same infrastructure that they run their internal tools. Um, for example, even things like Gmail or um, AdSense and stuff all run on the same infrastructure. So that means you are essentially getting a more reliable um, you know environment or an infrastructure to run your own applications it goes without saying that it is more consistent and you know there is replication backups etc that is you know taken care for you and you can scale it um, as you want so essentially you are kind of delegating all your infrastructure that your company needs to maintain into the cloud and then Google provides a lot of tools which help you uh, perform your um, needs so um, if I were to kind of um, you know make a table of what is out there in Google um, Cloud first and foremost is Google Cloud storage so this is uh, similar to your Amazon S3 um, basically you can store access and manage your data there is particular pricing available for it um, you know we'll we'll discuss a little more in detail because for Google BigQuery we'll need some input data and we'll download some uh, publicly available data and store it in Google Cloud Storage. The second is of course Google App Engine uh, which has a NoSQL data store you can run your MapReduce and other backends and stuff like that. Um, the third one is Google Compute Engine here is basically you can run your virtual machines um, I believe right now they are only supporting Linux so it is not as um, huge as Amazon where it gives you a variety of OS uh, which you can just spin off on need basis and the next is basically Google BigQuery so Google BigQuery is again a service which is kind of modeled uh, around Google Dremel uh, it's basically a public implementation of Google Dremel so you can just upload terabytes of data and then you know kind of query it as though you're writing just plain SQL queries and you get like blazingly fast results out of this like you know it you can really query about billions and billions of rows and then get your answers in about uh, in mere seconds actually now if we go back to our you know the previous slides that we talked about in which we categorized our different aspects of our data and if we try to look at what actually Google provides what service that is, is does Google provide for us um, in these categories uh, one is of course to collect data so you have got your Google storage services big store data store log store etc which you can basically use to collect your data and kind of store it um, the second is of course to process your data you know to run maybe map reduce or um, you know any other things like that you do have app engine and google compute engine uh, to analyze your data there is a separate service called bigquery we will be going in much more detail uh, into bigquery 
and of course to build your applications again you have uh, google app engine and google compute engine okay so now i have enabled billing so i should be probably able to create a bucket let's see um let me just call this as sample underscore big data one something like that now there are a couple of conventions you have to follow to make sure that this name is unique and then you know <clears throat> there are other uh, basic naming conventions that you need to follow and this is uh, pretty much the same when you um, actually even use the amazon uh, web services like amazon s3 or something um, so what i've done is i've just created a bucket bucket is nothing but a container where uh, of data so you can just push in your data in this bucket it's it's uh, similar to a folder and you can actually access this via url so if i go into bucket i can you know create uh, subfolders over here and start uploading files so what i'm going to do over here is uh, let's see Yeah. Let me just upload this. Okay, now you've seen that you know this particular file has been uploaded. Um, what we'll do is uh, we'll we'll use this data to analyze what is in it. Uh, we'll use uh, one other service provided by Google. That's Google BigQuery and um, we'll just run a few queries. We'll look at the service, how to kind of um, you know analyze uh, this particular data and we would also see how simple it is to basically upload any type of data process it and then you know start querying the data so um, i'll probably cover that in the next video thank you